All right, you guys, this is gonna be for Sagittarius, the Moon, Raven, Venus, Jupiter. Um, you already know the rules of tarot. Take the energy, how it resonates. It's not gonna resonate with every Sagittarius. This is for the remainder of July, okay? We're gonna start off with what we need to surrender, and it looks like you need to surrender to unhealthy relationships. Some of you guys definitely are hanging on to some unhealthy relationships, and it could be pulling you back, hindering you, or holding you stagnant from moving forward, moving forward towards your passions, okay? So you definitely wanna, you know, kind of move out of that denial. I don't even know if you're in denial. I think you know the relationships that are hindering you, and it's time to move away from them. It says surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself. So maybe you're holding on to relationships because, or you're holding on to relationships that aren't good for you because due to beliefs about yourself, right? So now is a time that you start valuing yourself. It has surrender to frustration here. So it looks like <laughs> you could be very frustrated with yourself. Um, a lot of times we know exactly what it is that we need to move away from what we need to change but because patterns and habit habits are so tricky with the mind it's not as easy to move away from um things that we intuitively know okay it looks like you need to surrender to drama a lot of drama surrounding you right now right and it's uh, it, again it comes with the unhealthy relationships it comes with old least beliefs about yourself so right now you know like wow i don't feel comfortable with this drama i don't feel comfortable with these relationships that's causing drama and it's making you feel restless it's tiring you out you could very well be putting your energy in a better place and i feel like this is frustrating you because you're looking in the mirror and it's like why can't i just make the change well um you have to uh, start facilitating the energy to make the change in a new direction okay you can't you have to urge yourself to do that you, you just have to um so let's see what is going to be the overall energy for the remainder of july for sagittarius what is the overall energy for the remainder of july for sagittarius spirit guides angels ancestors come down the ones that govern uh, sagittarius come down with the highest good and the highest good only thank you all right, overall energy for the remainder of uh, July spirit. So you guys are going to be going through a spiritual awakening. And I feel like that's why you're going to be feeling like, oh, my God, this is too drama. Oh, my God, I want to be involved with this type of relationship. I don't want to hold these reports here any longer. I do feel like you guys are going to be releasing some friendships and moving towards friendships that are actually more kindred with you that don't involve drama. You, I feel like you guys have been trying to manifest this for quite some time. And you guys are finally listening to your intuition, listening to that good angel that says you are making the right move. So I feel like you guys are actually going to be stepping away from um people or things that make you angry or upset your soul or spirit it just looks like the people that you're surrounding yourself with aren't the best type of people right you have anger here drama frustration um you guys have a lot of upsetting irritable uh uh surrender to uh abusive relationships or unhealthy relationships you guys got a lot to move away from and i feel like spirit is talking to you and um it seems like you're very disobedient from what i see here um and you get angry and frustrated with yourself because you keep not following your intuition and trusting yourself you have the tower card here so there's going to be a big breakdown happening due to you being disobedient not listening to your spirit guides here yeah some people just don't trust themselves what is going on with sagittarius what's going on with sagittarius for the remainder of july sun moon rising venus jupiter all right so there's some type of commitment okay there's somebody you got your eye on you could be watching this person on facebook this could be a star sign this could be aquarius um i definitely see here every time i see this card i think about somebody watching an aquarius for some reason so it's like some you, you could be watching someone and um you're trying to get the courage um, to, you find great potential in this person, you're trying to get the per, a great the potential to reach out um, so you have these thoughts uh, to reach out and say what you want to say you could be writing this in a journal or a book here, but I feel like there's a lot you want to say to someone that you're keeping your eye on, there's quite a few things that catches your eye about this person, maybe you like their lips maybe you like um uh their style their smile there's something about this person that you have your eye on 
okay now it looks like you're actually going to be holding back you're like just kind of on the fence uh thinking about this thing um but it's something that you definitely want to make a premature i feel like you're watching because you don't want to make a premature move but it's like even when you do make a move it is still going to be premature because you're not gonna let everything that you feel or know out so you're watching like i don't want to come into this prematurely but when you do it's like you're coming as if you don't want a real commitment or um because you have the 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 page of pentacles so it's like you're sitting here watching this person but then when you come about it's like a really small offer okay why is that and my mid-month readings are a lot uh, shorter than my uh, monthly readings so i do see that you're going to make a move on the person you have your, your eye on here um for sure i see that there's some type of uh, regrets here um and maybe that's why you're just watching here uh, there's some regrets, regrets, maybe some words that you didn't say to this person. This could be a person from your past. Maybe you're moving towards, let's see here. I feel like you might be beating yourself up about not making a move. And thinking like, is it too late to make a move on the person I have my eye on? As soon as I said the person I have my eye on, uh, another eye pops out here. So you are definitely looking and you, I, I kind of feel like whatever offer that you feel like you're going to make, you feel like the person's going to feel like it's too small. Because I see the, the Hierophant card, the Sage card, it does represent um, commitment. But we're on the fence about it because of some regret, regrets. I don't know if you regretted something in the past. Um, or you could just feel like, you're unable to manifest everything that you want right now with whoever you have your eye on you might feel like you don't have enough okay because we have the manifestation card and you also have uh the page of pentacles so i feel like uh the offer you might feel like mm, on the fence just watching it because you feel like you don't have a big enough offer for this person or you could be thinking about manipulating and making your offer seem bigger than what it is okay but there's some type of regrets here that i see clarify the five of cups clarify the five of cups maybe you regrets that you waited too long because i've just seen the two of swords you could have waited too long you could have been on the fence too long with this person you could have waited too long to come with the uh, page of cups i do see as someone that you potentially want wanted the ten of cups way up there goes the the uh mm -hmm. yeah you could definitely have your eye on a past lover due to the cards that i see that are showing up here as i shuffle um but i feel like there's past regret regrets um maybe you had gotten your heart broken in the past so you didn't make the movement that you should have made or didn't make a big enough offer so you're just kind of watching i feel somebody's watching here and i feel like someone definitely wants to make a move but they feel kind of like in a box or in the shell um or in their like sacred circle because they feel like their offer isn't big enough this this little um whatever this is looks a little wounded and like you know, we know that the page of pentacles represent like a smaller offer or childish behavior or some type of message. Um, but I feel like someone has just been running around in circles like a guinea pig or something and just feeling like, oh my God, like how do I manifest a big enough offer? And I do feel like someone is looking to move forward, but as soon as they're looking to move, move forward, they feel like they're going to regret it because they don't have a big enough offer. Yeah. Uh, maybe they grab breadcrumbs someone in the past. I just feel like someone feels like they don't have enough. Even though they show up like they do have enough, they don't have enough. Yeah. So what I would say here, Sagittarius, if you're looking, you have your eye on someone, you're looking to make a move, um, you want to just trust yourself and go with your intuition. If you feel like it's the right thing to make a move, whether you have a big offer or not, this person could maybe not care if you have a big offer or not uh maybe this person maybe you don't maybe that will probably be the issue you being on the fence not speaking your truth not speaking the truth from your heart um if that's something you're regretting holding back the truth from your heart um and you feel like uh doing that now or create a shift i would encourage you to do so i mean because you have the confidence you have the emperor here but it's something you definitely want to hold on to 
I just feel like someone feels like they don't have enough to give, even though they show up as if they're the emperor. The emperor has everything, all things, right? They embody all the kings. But for some reason right here, I can still tell that we want to commit more. We have our eye on somebody. We want to manifest. We don't feel like we have enough. We're, we're, we're hanging on the fence here about some regrets, regrets that we had in the past. But we're definitely wanting, we, we want the energy of making a move is here. But I feel like it's halted. As soon as we think about making a move, we decide to just watch and not make a move. So, you know, uh, clear your mind out. I, did, I think spirit is guiding you and giving you a friendly reminder of what to do. Don't let your anger upset you. Stay away from drama and unhealthy relationships because that looks like that's going to be a big part of closing out July. Okay? Peace. If it resonates in this here story, please comment. Please book your very own private reading with me and I'll be more than happy to elaborate on your individual story. Peace.